Hi, everyone. So today we're going to be chatting about Crypto Swarm and just kind of breaking it down in a more uh, laid back kind of way. Um, I'm Tony. I'm with the marketing team for the project, as well as um, I'm the community manager. And I'm joined today by our technical lead and uh, the scientific mastermind behind all of this, uh, Louis Rosenberg. So thanks for joining us, Louis. Um, and how about we just jump in with kind of a, a brief big picture introduction? Like, what is Crypto Swarm all about and what makes it a cool project? Yeah, so I mean, Crypto Swarm is, you know, our objective is to, to bring uh, groups of people together and build a super intelligence, a super intelligence that allows us to forecast uh, crypto assets with significant accuracy. And it's based on a technology that, uh, that we've been working on for seven years called Swarm AI. And so uh, it's, it's worth mentioning that uh, Crypto Swarm is a project that came out of a, a, a parent company called Unanimous AI uh, in partnership with a, another group called uh, the Genius Collective. And the idea was to, to take this technology called Swarm AI, which at Unanimous we've been developing for years and years, and combine it with NFT technology and, uh, and do something really new and different. And so with that said, uh, let me just talk about Swarm AI technology for a minute because it's, it's the core of this. And, and really, it's, it's a use of, of AI that's very different. Most uses of AI are really about uh, processing big data sets and then using AI to replace people with algorithms. What Swarm AI does is instead it, it looks at using AI to connect groups of people together in real time and enable them to work together as a system to harness their knowledge and wisdom and insight and intuition uh, to converge on significantly more accurate forecasts than they could have done on their own. But the reason that it's called Swarm AI is that it's based on the biological principle of swarm intelligence, which is the reason why birds flock and fish school and bees swarm, uh, they are smarter together in systems uh, than they are alone. And what's, what's common about birds and bees and fish and other biological systems is they don't, they don't combine their insights by taking a survey or uh, taking a vote. Uh, they combine their insights by working together in a real-time system where the groups can push and pull on each other uh, like a school of fish and uh, converge on really good decisions. And, and so it's, if you think of a school of fish, you could think of it as a super organism. There's, nobody's in charge. There's thousands of individuals. Uh, each individual has a slightly different view of the world. Each individual has slightly different experiences, even slightly different personality. And yet by working together as a system, they can function as a super organism and navigate the ocean and live successful lives as a species that have been around for hundreds of millions of years. And, uh, and that's really different than, uh, than a human group where there's, you know, somebody's in charge and, you know, asks for some input and makes a decision or, or survey and take the average. It's about building a system. And so what we developed at Unanimous AI is this tool uh, called Swarm AI, which enables groups to connect from anywhere in the world. They log in in real time and they work together as a swarm and converge on answers. And, and it works. And uh, it allows groups to make significantly more accurate forecasts. And we've, uh, we've partnered with universities around the world to, to test the technology over the last few years, partnered with Stanford, Oxford, MIT, Cambridge, Carnegie Mellon. Uh, and study after study shows that when we take a group of people and we have them do a forecast using Swarm, they will amplify their accuracy uh, by 20%, 30%, 40%. Uh, and we've seen Swarm be used to forecast the price of oil, the price of gold, the S&P 500. Uh, we did a, a published a study with Stanford Medical School showing that Swarm AI get medical diagnoses. Uh, we published a study with um, Cambridge University Business School showing that uh, groups of uh, of traders can can make more accurate predictions on uh, on meme stocks and on cryptocurrencies and on other high volatile assets. Um, we've even uh, we even work with the United Nations that uses Swarm to predict the likelihood of famines around the world. 
by bringing together groups of experts. So it's a proven technology. The technology works. There's lots of papers out there that you can see, published papers. And what CryptoSwarm is doing is saying, okay, let's use uh, the price of Bitcoin, price of Ethereum, price of, uh, of less common cryptocurrencies, potentially predict uh, other NFT-related Web3 assets by bringing together a group of forecasters and harnessing their intelligence. And the forecasters are people who are going to uh, buy one of the CryptoSwarm NFTs. By buying a CryptoSwarm NFT, they then have the, uh, the right to participate in these real-time forecasting sessions, and then they get the results, the forecasts. And, uh, and the CryptoSwarm project aims to, to generate uh, rigorous forecasts three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, producing reports for this community of uh, of crypto swarm nft holders so it should be a, a really interesting community that uh, is getting access to to valuable insights valuable forecasts valuable information about the market and is also contributing their knowledge and wisdom and insight to the to the system they are they are part of the they are part of this this super intelligence that we're building yeah and and one thing one thing that's interesting about you know the Swarm AI system with these like real time feedback loops built in um, is that it's actually you know quite similar to how markets really work how what drives prices in markets you know it's not just like an analytical ML tool or something like it actually considers the emotion as well as like the logic of our Swarm participants and so yeah it's a really powerful um, you know predictor for things like stocks and crypto and so on. Um, it's, it's worth, I and mean, that's a great point, and it's worth kind of adding to that a little bit, which is, you know, when people think about using AI to predict markets, what they very often do is they'll take a big set of historical data, and then they'll crunch that data uh, using machine learning algorithms, and then they'll try to predict the future. And it, it works, but it actually doesn't work great because the, the historical data doesn't necessarily match the current conditions in the world and uh, the, the conditions in the world, especially for volatile assets where things are changing all the time. And so machine learning you know, is only as good as the data you're training it on. It requires large sets of data, which means your data is, um, it gets old and it no longer applies. Um, whereas what Swarm does is a database of, uh, of market data, it's using the database of, of human and human knowledge. So if we have a group of uh, 500 traders, and those people are following the market. They have their own historical knowledge of, of market, but they're also up to date on what the market is doing uh, yesterday and today. They have an insight into the, into the sentiment of the market. They have, you know, we call it intuition, but it actually means a lot. It's, it's our own machine learning process where we're taking in uh, all of the prevailing characteristics and we're making our best guess. And so the thing about the human database is that it's up to date to account the things that are happening right now. And, and as a result, we can get these much more accurate forecasts. We actually, at Unanimous AI, we see the same thing when we work with large companies doing sales forecasts. And so very often, you know, large to us, and they'll say, you know, we do sales forecasts with machine learning, and, and they're never that accurate. And we say, well, how do you do it? Say, so, well... We took our data from, from the last year's holiday season and the holiday season before, and we put it into machine learning and we used it to try to predict what kind of inventory levels we'll need for this holiday season. And, and it's not it, what's not accurate. And, and my answer is always, yeah, it's not accurate because what you built was a system that's really good at predicting how your product would have done last holiday season. <laughs> that's the data you had. Um, but when we bring together a group of people uh, to predict uh, sales, they know what the current economic conditions are, what the sentiments are of themselves, their coworkers, their family, and so they're much more accurate and able to predict uh, predict sales of clothing, predict sales of cars. Uh, crypto is very similar, right? Crypto market is driven uh, partly by market fundamentals and partly by sentiment, by the collective sentiment of traders. And so bringing together traders and harnessing uh, their intuition, their sentiment, their fear, 
uh, their greed and making forecasts is actually a far better way to deal with a volatile asset than a traditional machine learning, which relies on historical data that is almost instantly out of date. Yeah. And just to kind of, you know, share with those listening and, and really like show the concrete value of this. Um, one of the folks who just joined uh, like one of our recent swarm sessions, he actually did a trade based on what the swarm, you know, what the result of the swarm was. And I think he made like what, like 25% return or something in 24 hours. Um, so it, it, we're basically just giving trading signals um, through these reports that we issue to our NFT holders. Uh, and on that note, actually, I, I just want to ask like, yeah, what, why NFTs and how will we actually get the reports to people? Yeah, so um, you know, the, our reason for using NFTs is it is a way for somebody to sign up for this service because it really is an intelligent service. You know, there's art projects or, and, and they're really just about you know, uh, speculating on, on a piece of artwork. What CryptoSwarm Project is, it's, it really is a, a utility project. Uh, it's a service, the service intelligence reports three times a week, and it will deliver those reports to the NFT holder. You could then, the person could then sell that NFT to somebody else who will then be the, the holder who will, can, uh, can get the service. And um, the NFT also gives you the, uh, the right to participate in these swarm sessions to contribute your, your knowledge and wisdom and insight uh, at, when we do these forecasts, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, it'll be at a, a specific time uh, each, uh, each day. And participants just go to the, the Crypto Swarm website. They will then connect their wallet. And then by connecting their wallet, they then can get access into the Swarm session, which is a piece of software called Swarm, where group come, um, questions will pop up and the group will collectively predict the price of Bitcoin and um, and it, it takes about ten minutes to predict, uh, you know, a, a set of different uh, a, a different assets, and then and then they're done, and then a few hours later, uh, the re a full analytical report gets generated that's r rather sophisticated, and then uh, the NFT holders can then log in, and again by connecting their wallet, they'll be able to access the uh, access the report and see the the forecasts. Uh, and the, the forecast will span different time frames. And so we're doing it three times. Uh, each forecast, you know, we have 48 hour forecasts and we have seven, seven day forecasts. So on Monday, we'll be 40 the price of Bitcoin, 48 hour forecast for the price of Ethereum. Uh, there'll be rankings of, uh, of you know, which is the best investment, you know, Bitcoin versus Ethereum versus Cordana versus Solana versus, you know, we have a set that, that we rank at each session. And that comes out and gives this 48 hour and uh, and seven day time frame, And then two days later, we do it again on Wednesday, again, an updated forecast, new, new 48 hour window, new seven day window. Um, and, and that's crypto swarm. And, uh, and again, the, the reason for doing it as an NFT is it's a, it's actually a convenient way to, to run a service. It's a, it's a way to run a service where the people who buy the service actually can, can sell it to somebody else, so it's transferable. Uh, but it is also a way to build a community of of crypto enthusiasts who have the knowledge and wisdom and insight that we want to draw upon. And so, for us, this is really about building a community. Uh, the way this uh, way we're rolling it out is that um, at the end of the month, uh, end of September, we will mint uh, 300, 300 uh, crypto swarm uh, NFTs, which will be our first pool of forecasters and who will get access to the report. That's just uh, as we ramp up and, and 90 days later, we will, uh, we will add another thousand on top of that. And, uh, and that will be our pool of 1300 people, uh, certainly for the first year. Uh, we look, we have a roadmap. If you go to the cryptoswarm.ai uh, website, you can see the roadmap where we, we look to, uh, to year two, where after, um, after we've had this, that 1,300 people being our, our community in year two, we look to expanding that to 3,000, but also expanding the service instead of three days a week, expanding it to five or, or potentially seven days a week. Um, in year three, we see also expanding to, to, uh, to other potential assets. And so uh, the idea is that we 
uh, will potentially expand the, the, the service over time, but the people who buy in now are buying into a service that um, will potentially expand uh, and will be worth more and more over time uh, because it is, uh, we are forecasting wider range of assets, we're forecasting more, more times a week, and uh, by keeping it to a relatively small number of NFT holders, our, our goal is to make this uh, uh, an, an exclusive uh, community that people want to buy into and, uh, and that preserves and, and maybe even uh, drives the value of, of these, uh, these NFTs that give you access to the service. Yeah. And just for, uh, just for information, um, yeah, those first 300 that we're minting on September 30th will go for one ETH um, each. Uh, and if they sell out, obviously the floor can raise um, but the ones, the additional 1,000 that we're minting in November are going to be at at least 1.5 ETH. And one other really cool note, if you actually participate and buy one of these first 300 at the end of September, you actually get one of the um, 1.5 ETH valued NFTs in November. So you get a free one. So essentially free one and a half ETH um, if you join you know, early and then start swarming and start participating. Um, yeah, the the first three hundred is a fantastic uh, a fantastic opportunity, yeah. and it's you know it's the people who want to jump in early and be part of this uh, this super intelligence for for predicting yeah, for sure. uh, crypto. And uh, the, the website also mentions this this idea of getting payouts for joining Swarm. Oh, you, uh, quickly explain that. Yeah. So one of the things that that we uh, really want to motivate is we want to motivate people to want to participate in these swarm sessions and to want to try hard. And so we actually have a uh, basically a forecast to win model where people who participate in, in each of these weekly sessions, and again, um, to participate three times a week, they, they could, maybe some people participate just once a week, maybe some people participate once every other week, but but uh, we've, we're building it into a, um, a model where every session we will keep track of how individuals perform in an unknown uh, by your own wallet ID or, or and we'll have a, um, a leaderboards that show how, how people performed in predicting these assets so you can see how you stand, it should be fun. But more important than that is that we have a, a payout model where uh, the participants uh, the participants will earn actually earn cash in in crypto um, if they forecast for, for how for how accurately they forecast in each session and it's uh, it's a bell curve so that uh, people who perform near the middle uh, earn uh, I, I think the average payout around middle performance let's say we have 100 people per participate the people in the middle of that bell curve will earn uh, five dollars per session in crypto uh, for for being you know in the in the middle uh, forecast. People who are below average still earn some payout. People who are above average uh, can earn uh, an actual winner. The person who performs the best will win win twenty five dollars, and so uh, the real potential of earning uh, real payouts. And then we also incentivize the group as a whole so that if um, if the group as a whole performs well, uh, we give a then a, just an extra bonus on top of that. Uh, I, I, I do you remember what the bonus is? I can I forget what the bonus. It's on the website. I can actually uh, look. Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's an additional twenty five percent. Okay, there you go. Everybody so it's a 25 winnings if the whole group, um, yeah, performs uh, better than eighty five percent of what the individual. Um, so. Right. So the payout model, it's on the Crypto Swarm website. It shows the curve. It shows you know people who, what it takes to win $5 or $7 or $10 or $25. Um, in, and uh, again, the average, the average payout will be, you know, $5. So, so it's, you know, it's not like you have to be uh, a star to win. If you just participate and you are, you know, a decent forecaster, you can win $5 in, in crypto. Uh, every session. And again, if the group as a whole does well, then um, there's this additional 25% bonus. And so, um, you know, your $5 gets over $6 or your $25. If you won, uh, you get, you know, 
uh, an extra uh, an extra you know six six dollars or so and so um yeah it it is uh you know again our goal is to have a community of people who uh who a think it's fun uh see it as a challenge who want to try to be you know the best forecaster they can uh, who are learning to become good forecasters over time because we're giving out we're publishing the results each session as so you get to see you know how you you know how you compare and uh and then we're publishing these reports over time and keeping track of how we do so it should be uh you know there's really two ways to look at the value here one way is the intelligence reports so if you're a crypto trader the intelligence reports are uh you know intended to give insights that um that you can't get anywhere else about uh, potential sentiment and uh, in projections in the crypto market if uh if you also are you know competitive it's also an opportunity to uh to pitch yourself against other other you know community of other crypto uh crypto enthusiasts and potentially earn money uh every session by performing well yeah not to mention you know as this project grows um, that the NFT, you can obviously resell the NFT and we totally anticipate, you know, that, that the NFT will gain in value. So, so there's also that, um, so yeah, that pretty much we're out of time, but if you want to get involved in this project, there's going to be links in the description, uh, of this video, including to our website, which is www.cryptoswarm.ai. And you can find out pretty much everything we talked about, uh, among other things. And I'll also put the links to our Twitter and our Discord server, which I really recommend you join. Um, we run frequent swarms, even pre-mint, and you can already you know, get some free alpha, connect with other people, um, or ask me or any of the rest of the team questions you know, anytime. Uh, and that's actually, joining our Discord server is also the best way to get on the whitelist and guarantee yourself a spot in the first 300 mints, which again, if you join those first 300, you get basically free 1.5 ETH uh, in November. Um, so yeah, check that out. And um, yeah, thanks for joining us, Lewis. It was really great talking. Yeah, no, it was fun. And uh, people should check out the cryptoswarm.ai website. They can uh, they can see all the fine details of how the, how it works, and all the the different academic studies that I mentioned are are posted there. You can actually see the papers that show uh, how how the technology works in uh, in other contexts. For sure. All right. Thanks, Lewis. Thanks.